Hello, thank you for checking out this episode of Really Dicey. I'm here with Jim Fitzpatrick, and I'm, I'm reading out his shirt. <laughs> Whatever gets you there. <laughs> but you are the creator of? Mission to Planet Hex. Yes. So yeah, tell us about it. I, I see you at all these cons. Uh, tell us what this game is about. Okay, well, uh, it is a retro-style space adventure board and card game in one. Uh, basically, uh, the players are building a map of the galaxy out of space and planet hexes, and they're traveling around to collect data, because what you, the object of the game is to use the data to upload hexes to your mission file and complete your mission. So it's sort of a race with map building, dice rolling, uh, traditional card play, and a lot of take that. The younger crowd especially likes, uh, you know, if you like to get back at people or whatever, um, they like that aspect of it. But it's a little bit of everything. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I like variety, so I put everything in. <laughs> Where did the idea for this game come from? Well, actually, I wanted to do a space game, and originally I was playing around with the idea of doing time and space like Doctor Who, because I'm a longtime fan of Doctor Who. But the idea of making it simpler was, was a good choice. So no, no time, just space. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of tropes in here from old-fashioned sci-fi and that kind of thing. And uh, it just sort of, the idea sort of came to life one afternoon where I wrote it all down and I said, what kind of planets in space would, you know, would I like to go to? And what kind of aliens and what would they do? And it just, it took off from there. I like the idea of creating your own universe every time you play. So the board is, is always different because of the arrangement of the, the hexes. It's totally up to the players. Um, so hopefully that adds to the playability and the replayability. Um, is this your first um, uh, game that you designed? It, it is. Uh, I, I come from a background of I like to play magic uh, in uh, limited formats like pre-releases and drafts and Dungeons and & Dragons. And I've always liked sci-fi and comic books, uh, especially old movies. You know, I was telling somebody today, uh, one of the, my friend's kids turned 11, and I said, you know what happened when I was 11? Star Wars came out. So I was very influenced by the sci-fi of that period. So like I said, this is sort of retro sci-fi, the vision of uh, the future we had uh, in the past, yeah. like the Jetsons or the original Star Trek, that kind of thing. So it just, it just fascinated me. And the idea that you could make this universe and then uh, travel around and get something out of it. One of the comments that concerned parents have made about my game is, is there's not a lot of combat. It's, it's exploration and data collection. And there is a lot of take that, but it isn't, you're not explicitly attacking anyone or anything like that, uh, which just sort of came out of the design of the game. It wasn't my intention to include or exclude combat, I just sort of went with the idea that you are exploring space, you know, for the first time. Now, this is not available just yet, right? It's, it's, it's going on Kickstarter soon? Right. This is actually the second edition. The first edition I was making for myself, you know, uh, uh, using the Game Crafter, which is a wonderful resource. They made the prototype that I'm using today. Uh, but uh, I just decided that if it was going to uh, it was starting to take off a little bit, and I thought, well, if I just bump up the quality, I mean, now we have professional art, not art that I made myself. Um, we could get a professional type game at a lower price point and get more people in on the fun. So that's the goal of, of 2.0, is to sort of get it out there um, so that it's affordable to, uh, you know, uh, customers and retailers. and. Uh, just have something that's really nice. The new art is much more colorful. Um, the artist is very engaged. His name's Mark Gagne, and um, I'm so happy. I, I just found him on the internet. Uh, I saw his style, and I liked it. It's very playful. Um, he adds things to help me create this coherent universe with all these characters in it. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're, we're just taking it from there. So far, so good. We started this year. Uh, in the PAX South Indie Showcase as one of the seven games they selected, and it was a great kickoff. The, the, the PR of ripple effect from that just keeps paying off, and I, I'm so grateful to them. Um, so where can someone learn more about this project? Okay, well, it's Mission to Planet Hex with two X's, so we're eminently searchable no matter where you go. But we're on all social media. The, the base, the home page, is our Facebook page, where you can get links to how to play, uh, pictures, documents, uh, videos on YouTube. We have a very small YouTube channel. We're also on Instagram and Twitter. Um, so, I, I mean, if you want to find out about it, uh, there are lots of venues. But I suggest the Facebook page just because there, it's a link to all these resources. Thank you.